good, efficient, and effective roads network is fundamental to socio-economic growth, development, and inclusiveness in any society. This is because roads infrastructure provides the link between producers and marketers, workers to jobs, students to schools, and even the sick to hospitals. They also stimulate economic responses in terms of trade, location choices, and ultimately reshape development outcomes that policy makers seek. In fact, good roads interconnectivity is one important factor that reshapes political and economic order of regions and neighboring communities. The good roads is really critical to uh, movement of people, um, movement of goods, movement of manufactured uh, goods. So it is very central. And without good road, there's a lot of costs in transportation, cost of goods and services. So it's important. The road network is very important. If there is no good road, there are places you may want to go, you know, to attend to some stores and all that, it becomes very impossible. But when you have a good road network, it makes it easy. In Nigeria, the shortfall in roads infrastructure to meet the ever-growing needs of land transportation of goods and services, as well as bridging the gap between trading partners and enhance regional integration has led to more student calls for increased funding for this critical infrastructure. Whether policy makers and implementers will jettison politics and myopia and heed to the yearnings of the people is a matter of conjecture that only time will tell. Without road, there can be, you know, accessibility to communities and even in movement of uh, goods and services to one community to another. So roads, as it is, is a necessity for every economy to grow. If you're a farmer whose road is well tied and well maintained, the tendency is that your finished products will be well priced and beneficial, and of course it will help in motivating those farmers. The recognition of the pivotal role of effective roads network in the development of societies may have obviously propelled Governor Ifanyo Kowa to deploy huge chunks of budgetary allocation to the construction of roads to tap into the many benefits good and efficient roads interconnectivity will bring to bear on the overall economy of Delta State. Beyond the fact that we are reaching out to construct roads in every part of the state, we have also moved into constructing roads in the riverine areas. One of them that we just recently completed in the riverine area is a 19.7 kilometer road across five villages in Ogulaha Kingdom. If you go to Burutu, these are communities within the rural areas. All the roads in Burutu town are paved now. And that is something you have never seen before. You go to Korenkoko, you go to Gilibe, we are paving the roads uh, to Praza, we are paving the roads. These are deep down in the riverine areas, and these are things that have not been done before. That's why you find that Delta State is very peaceful. In the course of the 2015 electioneering campaigns, Senator Ifanyo Kowa crisscrossed the 25 local government areas in Delta State, during which he experienced the many ugly sides of poor road infrastructure. Little wonder, on assumption of office, he proceeded to confront this particular development challenge head on. Road network is something that has a positive effect on socioeconomic development. And because of that, His Excellency the Governor, on assumption of office, he actually made it one of his uh, cardinal programs to ensure places that were heated are not connected roadwise. It actually made them priority and uh, that is what we have seen over the past four years. The administration's aggressive onslaught on poor roads infrastructure has led to the transformation of no fewer than 380 roads projects and over 400 kilometers of line drains. Majority of the roads link several communities together while others have further improved the aesthetics of the communities. I commissioned this road today in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I was a witness when the road started, 
but we know that today the road is completed at least to Obungba and that we have another stretch that will take us to Okunzo and by the special grace of God we will complete that road in Jesus name. The most important thing major thing I have done to this my village in Obungba today, especially this road, is promising us another bigger thing than this. Our people are already rejoicing. Uh, for a very long time, uh, Deltans have been hearing for this opportunity to have good road network and uh, His Excellency has done that. He started from the first 100 days in office when he commissioned new minerals road. And uh, he's going to boost our economy. Kowa is doing a marvelous and serious work in Delta State. He's the best so far. Road network everywhere. You hardly see Porto right now in Asaba. So far, he has done great. So, in line with his thinking and philosophy, the people of Umebu in Obiaruko Federal Constituency are basking in the euphoria of the first phase of their link road, wearing a new nylon tar. I do this in the name of the Father, Amen. of the Son, Amen. of the Holy Ghost. Amen. At some point in time, when I was campaigning, I had to drive through this point to Mwebu. It was a horrifying experience. And when I came to the town hall meeting and the issue was raised, I actually knew that the people were going through a pitiable condition. We thank God as a hallmark of what we do. We promise we keep our promises. This road has not been motorable for a very long time. We are so fortunate that today our Amebu governor has made it motorable today. Smart Delta Media team had a chat with Mama Victoria Anamali returning from her farm pushing a bicycle. Burdened with a heavy load of firewood, she says she and her people are happy with work done so far. We appreciate what he has done for us. He has made movements very easy for us. We would be glad if this road is extended to other external roads in our community. You go to fire fine. Not yet done. We further spoke with a group of young men who are commercial motorcyclists. They too are appreciative of government's efforts. They have been a long year that have been promised us about this uh, road. Unfortunately, none of them did it to us. When Okowa entered, and he promised us that this road, under must, must give us five kilometers. And actually, he did it. So for that, we, the villagers, we are very much happy. We have been suffering for many years ago about this road. And uh, luckily, we got a good governor, Ifan Okowa, that shows Okwani love and makes everybody has a good environment. We love the governor. The rehabilitation of failed sections of Agbo, Abavo, Umutu, Eku Road also caught our attention. We asked drivers and others what they thought about the state government's efforts. Their responses were intriguing. The road was very bad, but after some spots, we have been taken care of. The rate of oxygen that we were seeing on the road has reduced. Six months ago, the road was so bad. We spent like one hour, 30 minutes from Abraka to Agbo. But since they passed the whole portal, we spent less than an hour now. Our car now, like the shock and other things, at least it now takes longer time to replace, unlike when the road was very bad. From this access, we headed straight to Abraka in Central Senatorial District. Here, we took special notes of several roads projects. All day, I have been checking on projects done by the state government. Ethiopia is to be specific. And right now, I am in Abraka, in a place called NUT Street. Here, we met a young cobbler who does a small-scale business along the road. Speaking with us, he noted that benefiting good governance has nothing to do with having one of your own dictating policy, but rather the political will as a leader to do good to all manner of people devoid of ethnic coloration and sentiment. Hello, Michael. How are you? You live along this NUT road. So yes, tell me, this is one of the roads that have been constructed by the state government. What kind of effect has this road on your social economic activity? I want to appreciate the state government and every other person who contributed for the success of the road. Even before now, the NUT streets, you can't even come inside with your car. But since they have constructed this road, 
some persons who have abandoned their land, their houses, at least they are now back to the streets. Buoyed by Ores's thought-provoking encounter, our desire to know more was further invigorated. So, we took off to Evia Street, which turns out to be a very busy stretch with lots of shops and a healthy student's population. The street actually leads to the second campus of Delsu Abraka. We got Essay and Sambo to talk with us about their experiences on government's efforts to provide better roads. It has a year I was doing pedigree. The road was nothing to write my about. Like, I would swim water before I get to class. But now, everything is now better. I really appreciate the government that did it very well for us. When I'm coming to school, I'm scared. I don't want to fall inside the dirty water. Bike will charge me. 200 from where I'm staying. But now the road is better. This artisan, a generator repairer, Samson Igeroge, sums up the feelings of the people with his experience as an SME operator doing business along the road and in the area. I'm enjoying the road since when I tie the road, the road is very, very good to my business and my business is moving forward. Done with Abraka, Samagidi beckons. Our mission was to see the extent of work done on the Okunokbara Oluname Road that serves about nine communities. Driving into the community was exciting as we drove through a rather high bridge standing approximately 25 to 30 meters off the ground. Smart Delta. Hey, hey, welcome to Delta. Governor, where they want to go? My name is Fretless, and I live in Asaba, capital city of Delta State. As an entertainer, my job entails a lot of movement from one place to the other, and also to be at the right place at the right time, meaning that I need good roads to be able to meet up with work or appointments. And with the new government reform on construction and rehabilitation of all major and feeder roads in the state as part of a smart agenda, it has become so easy for me to move around at all times. Now, I just cruise from street to street, city to city, all over the state. And even apart from the roads as I move along daily, I see magnificent projects everywhere. Check out this one in Worry and several other places. Wow. Governor Koa is indeed a man with a vision. Next on our agenda was Bumodi. After some two hours drive through several small island communities from the expressway, we eventually arrived at Esama community in Bumodi local government area. Here we saw the ongoing construction of Market Road as well as Niki Toby Street. This road will make the market to even boom the more and it will attract people the more to the community. And so many of the sons and daughters of this place will have the interest to come home the more. You can see if you go to the expressway now, people are clearing the sides of the road to ensure that they put up structures. That is the beauty of road. And women where they go market, they don't the entire motor, the motor they reach here, or car they reach here. Before my motor not they reach here, but now motor don't they pass. We are day free. Back their load, so it's very good. Indeed, just like in other places, it is a case of real projects, real people, and real stories, as government works hard to bring a new lease of life to Deltons. The skepticism in the minds of people in the wake of proposed dualization of Ugeli Asaba Road has given way to new realities as the work progresses daily to the amazement of Deltans. With our ever roving lenses, ever eager to bring these realities into the living rooms of the people that government is out to make a difference, we caught some commuters around the axis of the ongoing construction. And this is what they had to say. The road is sweet to drive. No port road. Governor Kowa is trying. People are moving freely now. Accidents have been reduced. Everything is going well. Before, I used to spend money on my machine, but now, because the road is good, I spend it to support myself and my family. At Iyede community in Isoko land, Isaac Arthur, Elizabeth Idama, Omokewe Ogaga, and others who are residents in the community and are into various vocations are grateful for the interconnecting roads as it has made life more meaningful for them.
He is quite a commendable one. It's going to help the commuters, the transporters in terms of movement. So it's a good development. Okowa, they try from Iyede to Asaba. Very good. Before, before, hungry they beat us. We know they sell. But now, we be market women. We are selling for the along the road to Asaba. We are feeding fine now. Make Okowa stand, get it back. We take it back. Since I'm out of the past, we have done now. Before, before, you know, they like that. Thank God for the grace of God and our governor and people where they do the road. Further up the road in Isoko North, the people say that the construction of Arade Elu Old Road Phase 1 is a blessing to them. At any time when we are passing the road, the road looks very nice. I appreciate what Koa is doing in this our Delta State. It's only God we bless him. In Ukwane Axis at Utagbo North, Smart Delta Media saw construction works done at Umusam Road, Admiral Honor and Umuseti Roads. Bennett Ngbo's testimony underscores the essence of government's vision for embarking on massive roads construction as the road links other communities with visible economic benefits. So having the network of roads to boost the economy of uh, every community cannot be overemphasized. And uh, I must give kudos to the re-elected governor, the roadmaster, who has uh, actually given more roads to Deltans like never before. In fact, in all parts of the state, there's no local government where the road network of excellence is not visible has been wonderful in terms of its achievement in the last four years. Governor Okowa have been really doing a lot of great things, especially the road. Like the other day I was coming, I, I didn't even know I'm in Osaba, it's just like I was in Ambrod because the road and the light, they were so beautiful. Kudos to Governor Okowa. Bennett's compatriots, Raphael Oba and Emmanuel Ideme also share their testimonies on the importance of these roads in their domain. In fact, in paradise we could be if this road complete from here to Nichokwane and uh, from here to Ndemili, uh, we must be very grateful. This road, at one, there is a damp wall, it's too bad, so we had it very difficult to pass us. But by the grace of God, the development has come, and we are very happy because we are going to gain a lot from this road. The government are actually remembering us. I appreciate the road. Just like in other places, the testimonies in Ushe Road were no different as Ulisse, Ikweme, and others gave thumbs up to Governor Kawa's vision of bridging the gap between them and neighboring communities with good roads given the brighter horizon for business opportunities. The road he did is very, very okay. No more passion of tire. The money that I'm spending to do my bike before, I use it to support my family. As we they wash our machine every day by day, we need to wash them again like that. Our uh, clothes get dirty, we need to do like that again. If I say no, we governor, we need to go get this road. So we are tank them. Before I put up, they were kind inside. But now everywhere, don't they okay? Even people, when they come back for a fan self, they work out for uh, express. So it's very nice to us. The urban renewal drive of the Delta State government under the watch of Senator Ifanyo Kowa is taking shape on account of aesthetics the roads are bringing in the many city centers across the state. The governor gave us clear directive on how to plan development and that is exactly what we are doing to transform the urban cities that we have and possibly even identify areas that we think that we can upgrade to urban center. I used to tell people anywhere I go that Okowa is working. Since I relocated from Lagos to Asaba, Okowa is the only governor that is doing what they are doing in Lagos State. When I went to Upanam Road, I saw the way he arranged flowers and all those roundabouts and everything. I said, this man is turning Asaba to London. So I give him kudos for that. Several milestones have been recorded, like the construction of many roads in riverine communities, which before now was deemed very difficult to achieve. Before now, people are saying that developing the Niger Delta is a difficult task. But Okowa has shown everybody that Niger Delta can be developed. In Kerenkoko, we have experienced Okowa's smart agenda. In Baramatu, we have experienced Okowa's smart agenda. The roads we are constructing 
they are done in such a way that it links both the rural and the urban areas to ensure proper economic activities across the state. Even the riverine areas are being captured in terms of uh, road construction. The essence of it is to open up the areas for investors to come in and to encourage them in their activities in the state. Also worthy of mention is the increased number of dualized roads in the state, signposting Senator Okoma's clear analysis and understanding of the traffic situation and burgeoning population count. For instance, the traffic light cable point dual carriageway, the Okbe dual carriageway, the Oweke Alero dual carriage, Miriam Babangida dual carriageways stand tall and has transformed the communities and locations along these different corridors. People know they pass for this road before. Even if you try go house, you will must buy medicine. But since where we get to Kowa, the road, everybody is enjoying the road now. Even some buildings, they were abandoned before. I can see some people now clearing their plots, trying to build up because of the road is now good. The desire to make sure roads last longer is the reason most of them have lined drains on either one or both sides of the roads, depending on the analysis of the topography and flow of flood. They are drains, 90% of the road being constructed in the other state. When the roads you so mentioned, there are drains on both sides, some one-sided drain. This is for proper evacuation of flood water that would have stayed on the road. The deliberate efforts to link the communities can be seen in a number of roads like Ufoma Fiesere Road, Udofori Road, or Zanogogo Alisime Road, and many others, which have further helped to cement the bond of love, create access to more communities just as it has enhanced the communal spirit among kith and kins living in far-flung communities. I commission this road on behalf of the United States government that we may use it to the glory of God. In Jesus' name I say it. This determination to transform the road infrastructure in Delta State remained very pertinent in the midst of the 2019 electioneering campaigns. Governor Kowa commissioned several roads as they crisscrossed the nooks and crannies of the state to connect the people even after the elections. We pray that God will continue to grant our governor the wisdom to do many more of this across the state. In Jesus' name. Amen. For the dualization. The town has been expanded, train. mobility is becoming so easy, this business position. transaction is going so easy. You see people support. transporting their and market the to go from the to main market, so it's for development. Before he came in, he made a promise to supply people. I was there, I attended the town hall meeting. He promised that once he comes into office, he's going to dualize this road from Amukwe to ATMP, even the market road, and he has fulfilled all his promises. It's a great one. That good roads network is also contributing to the overall GDP in the state cannot be overemphasized. This is because it is opening up space for private sector participation in citing businesses and creating employment. A good example is the Miriam Babangida Way in Asaba. Right now, I'm standing on the median of the Miriam Babangida Dwaka Ridge in Asaba. This road, which was impassable before the emergence of the Governor Kowa led administration, now wears a new look, as you can see. Just like this road, the story of transformed roads is evident across the 25 local government areas in Delta State. The overall effect being that more communities are now accessible and even more businesses have come alive. We thank him for the good job he has done, at least to come and rescue the landlords and uh, those that are doing business. I think the road has uh, already uh, improved the business in this environment. The minute the road was constructed, businesses sprang up like hotels and others. The testimonies of operators of Golden Tulip lend credence to the new phase of the road and adjoining streets. The construction of this road 
is a blessing to the owner of this hotel. As a GM, I see what our revenue base is, and you know, I, I see how many people throng this hotel, especially the pool side. A lot of businesses are seriously coming back, and you must understand that there's no shine away from it. I mean, real estate in this area now is gradually shooting up. Roads bring prosperity to a people, and Delta State's economy growing at a good rate of 40.15% in the 2017-2018 fiscal year is set to leapfrog as the inauguration beckons and Governor Ifanyokawa is poised to unfold his strategic direction for the next four years.